Hi, welcome to my video. And today I'm gonna to show you a very, very compact vlogging kit for your DJI Action 2. Now, basically it's gonna be a handle that you can place on this using obviously the DJI Action 2 and the GoPro style mount. So that's the only two items you're going to need for this very small compact kit. Now this can be achieved, this small compact kit can be achieved with one of these. Now this is the Joby Grip Tight POV. Now you can pick up one of these on eBay in the UK for around just under 15 pounds for this kit. Now in America, it'll probably cost you about 20, $25 for it. But it's a useful little kit because when you do buy it, you, get, you do get a shutter button, even though this is a Bluetooth shutter button and it doesn't work with the DJI Action 2, but it'll work with your phone. And you also get a cold shoe mount with it. Uh, not showing, but you get a cold shoe mount that slots into there. Now the kit is just consists, just made up of a phone clamp and a handle. Now really it is initially for your mobile phone, you release the clamp with this unit uh, lever at the back. That adjusts your clamp. You place your phone in there like so. Close up the clamp and you can then now hold your phone like that to take shots. <laughs> I got it a bit round, the wrong way around, but you can see what I mean. You use your phone, it's to hold your phone more like a traditional um, DSLR camera. So that's what it's really for. But we're interested in the handle. Now the handle does come with this kit, which I do like with a very, very small thumb screw. Now, this is why it says you need that particular part, or if you've got the small rig version or the Ulanzi version, or the, or any other version that can hold the DJI Action 2, but it has the GoPro fingers, such as that, you're gonna need one of them. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna release and pull apart the actual clamp from the handle. Now, when you release the actual GoPro screw, what thumb screw, what you get there, which is a very, very small thumb screw. But if you lose this thumb screw, you can use any other GoPro style thumb screw. It will fit in that hole and it will fit, the screw thread will fit in the nut here. So if you lose that, don't worry, any other small GoPro thumb screw will do. Now, as you can see, the handle has a GoPro style mount to it. And the actual clamp on there has a GoPro style fingers to it as well, but we don't need the clamp. And now we get the actual DJI mount. Now this is the proper DJI mount. I'll try and get it in focus, folks. So now we're gonna place the actual mount onto the handle here. We tighten up with the screw. Yeah, now it is a bit fiddly, but it will tighten up. It will fit in there. It's a bit of a close fit, but it will turn and tighten up in there. So we tighten that up. Try and get it as tight as possible because you're gonna need it. And now we've just got the handle. And as you can see, the handle is big enough to put three fingers in. Now, if you've got medium sized hands like me, no problem if you've got larger fingers of it, it's gonna take about two fingers, but you can see what I mean. You've got this now actual handle where you can actually make a fist. So it's a nice tight grip. You don't have to worry so much of a grip in your hand. It's just basically like a knuckle duster, if you wanna call it that <laughs> kind of thing on there, what uh, comes over your fingers. Now you can take the DJI Action 2. Now this one happens to have the small rig case on there. Now whether you've got the small rig case on there or even a metal frame on there, it doesn't matter. It will still clamp into this anyway, so that's the main thing. So 
you can place your DJI Action 2 on there. And as you can see now, you've got a very, very small handle, as you can see, so you can able to take your shots, a more steadier shot, because you haven't got that length of an actual selfie stick on there. So now you can do shots like so, and if you wanna do lower shots, obviously, simply take your hands out, bring that down as low as possible, but you can do that with it. Now, you can do your vlogs without even taking the DJI Action 2 off the actual handle itself. You could just simply turn the handle around and you can do your vlogging like so. Now, if you happen to have a wireless microphone set up, and I do look ridiculous with two um, wireless microphones on there. This is obviously the Rode here. So that's the Rode one and this is the DJI one. Now, because with the DJI, if you happen to have the DJI um, microphone kit, it's even more compact because that's how it would look with the DJI microphone kit on there. A very, very, this has got to be one of the most small setups you can ever have um, for vlogging with a wireless microphone. And the less chance of it falling out your hands if you were accidentally pushed or you slipped or whatever because with the Joby grip tight POV because it relies on your fingers going within there as you can see on there you only have to clench your hands like this and even if you get tired of clenching your hands you can simply release your hands like so now this is how it will look without the screen mod or even the battery mod on there and you just simply attach it to the Joby handle here. It's even more compact and I would tend to use this more of an indoor um, or places where you know you're not quite supposed to put, have a camera. This makes it more kind of stealth like because it's such a very small setup. I know you can just simply walk with the camera itself in your hands like this, but if, remember if you get knocked or get pushed accidentally or you slip, the chance of that gonna be falling out of your hands more or less, if it was like this, it was less chance of this coming out of your hands. But as you can see, even just holding it like so makes this more compact and you get a more of a steady shot because there's just not that length um, that you have to deal with. Now this is my just quick summary of the actual handle of the Joby um, grip type POV. If you want the best of both worlds, when well, you're gonna be using your um, DJI Action 2, or you're gonna be using your phone, because you get the phone clamp with it, plus with all the other extras I said at the beginning, shutter button, and also cold shoe mount, and you want the best of both worlds, at least you got a perfect setup here to use either your phone or your Action 2. Now, the same could be said if for using this, even if you've got an action camera, as long as it's got the GoPro style finger mounts to it, whether it's from its case or built in, obviously like the GoPro Hero cameras um, from, I think it's from six upwards, all the way to 10. This makes a perfect setup, very, very compact. If you happen to have the GoPro um, cameras, the nine and the 10, and you happen to have the media mod, even the media mod for the eight, I think, on there, and you just wanna use the media mod, because that will obviously bring the fingers down as well and place on here, still makes a very, very compact um, vlogging setup, especially when you're going abroad. So to me, the Joby paying a tenner or under 15 pounds for a Joby grip tight POV, and I hope Joby still makes them because I tried looking the other day and they seem to be getting fewer and fewer on eBay. So I don't know if they discontinued making this. Um, it's worth getting this handle, especially if you're a vlogger and you just wanna hold it at arm's length, or you want to be one of them, vlog I'd say, secret vloggers who just want 
not too many people to stare at them and they just want something nice and compact to hold their camera. This is good. This handle is perfect for that situation. Very small, fits in your pocket, really neat. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand. Sometimes my videos can be long or they can be short, but I like to go into the detail. So when you buy the item or the product, you know what to expect. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.